We meet again. We meet again. How are we doing? Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's day 105, I think. Possibly day 106, I'm still not sure. Of quitting alcohol for a year. <clears throat> I'm at work. And I fucking hate it here. I hate insurance. And I certainly, and I especially hate it when customers come in thinking they own the place, plonk themselves down right in front of me, when I've just got back from the gym and all I want to do is eat my lunch and they fucking go on and on and on about insurance. God damn it's dry. I accepted a new role, taking on claims in this insurance office beginning end of March. I'm going to just, I'm going to have to think about that. I'm going to have to you know, leave this role, go to Thailand, assess how I feel, have a look at some other jobs, see what's available. Because at the end of the day, I'm not tied to this job. I don't have to work in insurance, but being offered $80,000 to continue it was last week an offer that I simply couldn't refuse. This week, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it for a hundred grand, let alone 80. That's where I'm at guys. I've got some decisions to make. This video is probably going to be the shortest installment in this video series you will see because I just, I needed to discuss that. I, I am, I don't like it here and I don't think a month away will refresh that, uh, will, uh, uh, fix that. I, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, look, getting away, I know myself, I can reset, I can come back, and then I'll be happy. But you know what? Walking back into this office after being away for a month, and sitting down, and copying the same, the same shit, the same boring shit, having to do the same boring, repetitive crap that I'm doing at the moment is just something I'm not willing to do. I, I would take a pay cut. In fact, I'd take... If I could walk into a, a different admin role, something that didn't require uh, selling anything, because effectively it's customer service, but it's selling policies, and it's selling a product that I couldn't give a fuck about. Now call me a, call me a psychopath, but I couldn't give two shits about any customer or their insurance policy. I simply couldn't. And this is just me being completely open and honest. And that's what I want to say to them when they sit, when they sit, sit themselves down, fucking bending over my desk, looking at my, my screen, you know, thinking they own the place. Ah, me. Either way, that's enough from me. Just a little update for you of, you know, how I'm feeling. I've got three more weeks in this place and I think my heart and my head and my gut all tell me that they will be the final three weeks I spend in this office. But only time will tell.